Greetings and happy World No Tobacco Day. Today we are reminded of the global tobacco epidemic and the preventable death and disease it causes. In the Western Pacific alone, there are more than 400 million people who use tobacco and over 3 million lives are lost each year due to this deadly product. Tobacco not only harms those who use it, but also takes a toll on the health of farmers, our planet, and contributes to food insecurity. Over one million hectares of land are being used across the region to grow tobacco. This farming exposes farmers and their families to toxic tobacco dust and chemical pesticides. The environment also suffers due to deforestation, contamination of water sources, and degradation of soil. Imagine if we use the same one million hectares to grow nutritious food. We could nourish millions of people, helping children grow and develop, and supporting adults to reach their food potential. It's time to grow food, not tobacco. This World No Tobacco Day, I call on leaders to end tobacco growing subsidies and support farmers to switch to crops that improve food security and nutrition. I also encourage partners and community members to join me in raising awareness about alternative livelihood for tobacco farmers and the need to support tobacco farmers in growing sustainable, nutritious crops. As we continue to commemorate WHO's 75th anniversary, we also recognize the progress that has been made to reduce tobacco smoking across the Western Pacific region and around the world. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the organizations and individuals who are being honored this year for their exceptional achievements in tobacco control. Let us recognize and applaud the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports of Cambodia, the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, Revenue and Customs Services, and the Police Force of Fiji, the Cultural and Social Committee of Lao People's Democratic Republic, Senator Pia C. Cayetano of the Philippines, and Ministry of Health of Vanuatu. These recipients have demonstrated outstanding commitment, courage, and strategic thinking in their efforts to safeguard communities from the detrimental effects of tobacco. Through their dedication, lives have been saved and families have been freed from the suffering caused by tobacco. Let us continue to work together to further reduce the harmful impacts of tobacco use and support a healthier and safer environment for all. Thank you.